Hi everyone, Epi here, the Greek goddess of great reading. Today I will be reviewing The Rosie Project by Graham Simsian. Wife wanted. Must be punctual, logical, and enjoy traveling by bicycle. No smokers, drinkers, or horoscope readers need apply. John Tillman has a brilliant scientific mind, but social situations confound him. He's never had a second date, and so in the evidence-based manner in which he approaches all things, he embarks upon the Wife Project, a 16-page questionnaire to find the perfect partner. Then in walks Rosie Jarman. Rosie is on a quest of her own. She's looking for her biological father, a search that a certain genetics expert might just be able to help her with. Soon John puts the wife project on the back burner in order to help Rosie pursue the father project. As an unlikely relationship blooms, Dawn is about to realize that, despite the best scientific efforts, you don't find love. Love finds you. As you can tell by my very animated read-through of the plot of the book, that I enjoy this book very much. My roommate lent me this book. It just looked like a cute, fun read. And once I did start to read it, it was that, but it was a lot more. I am in a program that allows me to work with individuals who have special needs and varied abilities. So when I was reading Don's sort of characteristics as they appear throughout the book, his very punctuality, his need for organization and structure, and he can't really have things be too different, he's not open to new change, he likes his environments that he's used to. This is all very reminiscent of children that I've worked with who are on the autism spectrum disorder. And though I'm not sure if Don himself realizes that he is on the spectrum, he very clearly is. He's very high functioning because he is very smart, he's verbal, he's able to communicate with people very well, but again, he lacks those social sort of etiquette and boundaries and what's appropriate to say, when to say it, and emotional responses and how those might be interpreted by him and by others who converse and communicate with him. So I really liked how Graham Simpson portrayed Don and how he did fall in love with Rosie because he keeps thinking throughout the book that he cannot fall in love and that's why he makes this questionnaire because he, even though he might not be able to fall in love, he does not believe he is capable of those emotions, but at least he'll still be able to find a partner that is exactly what he wants and he <laughs> it's so funny him giving this questionnaire to all these women and trying to determine if these women are perfect for him perfect is not exactly right as we soon discover when Rosie walks in Rosie is not punctual she's a smoker she does whatever she wants. She's very smart. She is in a grad study program at the same university that Dawn teaches at, but she is very different from the description and the questionnaire that he creates for the Wife Project. And it's just kind of strange how she and him kind of go together, just because I feel like she, he needed her to show him how he is able to break that structure of his life and to enjoy new things in his life and to have adventure and she was good for that but I also think that Dawn's characteristics were good for Rosie because Rosie is very sometimes too emotionally attached to things and doesn't see reason and doesn't think of both sides of the story which is very apparent when she is criticizing her stepfather for how he raised her and not giving her things she wanted even though once you finally meet her stepfather it's not as terrible as Ro Rosie made it seem to be and I think Dawn helps to balance her out and she helps to balance Dawn out and I like how those two came together. There are a few characters in this book I didn't like a lot. One of them being Jean, his friend who works in the university with him as well and he's like a sociology professor or something like that 
and his like big project is to have sex with a woman from each country of the world and he has like this giant map in his office where he puts pins in it once he's had sex with a woman from that country and but he's married and has children and his wife apparently agreed to this but they got married as I was reading this then I found out he had a wife I'm like is she cheating on her what's going on she seems aware but finally, there's some kind of like discord happening there, obviously, that was going to happen eventually. And yeah, I'm not going to tell you more about that, but I did not like Jean for that reason, because you're a scumbag, man. That's all I have to say. And I also didn't like Rosie at some points in the book, just because, like I said, she does get too emotional about things. Like, she blows things out of proportion and doesn't think about them logically sometimes. Sometimes you need to do that and sometimes you do need to have a fit of passion. But Rosie was just like that a lot and near the end of the book she just does something when Don is like trying to express his emotions towards her and she does something that just doesn't sit well with me and it makes me think because she wants him to love her and he's trying for her but then she's like kind of rejecting those efforts and I was so upset I'm like okay you want this guy to change for you but you're not seeing that I don't like you so <laughs> there was moments where she just irked me a little bit but all in all this book was so funny I laughed out loud so many times and I think that a lot of people will enjoy it and I think if you don't understand what autism is and how it affects people, I think this is a really good example. Dawn is a really good example of how autism is presented in high-functioning individuals because there's a lot of people in our society who act like this and some people might just think they're being rude, but they just don't understand the social etiquette of people around them and how to act. So I think people should read this book and it's great, going to make you laugh, maybe cry, I don't know, but definitely laugh and understand a little bit better what autism is and how it affects people. So pick up The Rosie Project by Graham Simpson at a bookstore near you. My next review will be of Air to the Sky by Amanda Sun. So look for that review because it'll be coming to you soon. My website, Twitter, and Instagram are linked in the bio below. Hit subscribe if you guys like what you see and want to see more videos by me. I'm Evie, the Greek goddess of great reading, and until next time, guys, keep reading.